like, why is this one so loose? And this one's so very tight. Well, if you put your arm to the wrong hole, that will do it. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to try out and review an online stylist service. So I am going to try out Zalon. It's one of the services that Zalando does. If you've been around on my channel for a little bit longer, then you know I absolutely love Zalando. I think half my wardrobe of things I purchased to their website. So it's quite a big box, as you can see, and it's also quite heavy. I think it's around four and a half kilos, so there is going to be a lot of clothes in there. Just before we start doing this, I'm going to show you quickly around the website. I'm going to show you quickly my profile, just so you know how it works. If you have any questions, you can leave them linked down below, or you can also go to the website. I believe that this service from Zalon is for now only available here in the Netherlands and also in Belgium. If you want to have a little fun, try out some new outfits, and this is a great way to do it. If you are new here on my channel, then welcome. I would love it if you hit the subscribe button. So please do give the video a thumbs up and let's go. Just quickly, I wanted to show you the website from Zalon. So this is my account and the website is also in Dutch. So sorry for that. I am so you can choose your own stylist. I choose Linda. There are like five or six stylists you can choose about and they all have their little bio about them. So you can just choose one that feels the best that you have the best feeling with i also uploaded one photo of myself just so she had a little impression of me so i gave her all my measurements my length my weight and all my sizes of my clothes so then i told her what kind of styles i like i like classic joyful playful and bohemian style and i also and i really like it that i could tell her what kind of things i don't want so like like polka dots or denim shorts or something with studs and also the colors that I really didn't want then this is also very interesting about your budget so you can just go as low and as high as you want I choose everything just the first cheapest option because I just wanted to try it out and see what it is because they go with all the products from Zalando and obviously you also have like designer items there so I just choose the lowest price point I also did get a preview of what the box was going to look like so i gave her my honest feedback of the things that i did not like and also the things that i was interested in also the things that i was not interested in she was just going to leave out of the box and find something else for it you also can have a little chat with your stylist just told her a little bit about myself like what colors do i like or what kind of styles would i be interested in to try and she got back really fast to me also the box was sent fast so it's not a free service you pay 10 euros for this but if you keep one of the items in the box doesn't matter which one you don't have to pay the service costs so if you only like one item and you don't want anything else you can just return everything else for free it's really really easy to do the profile i think i was done in like 10 minutes max and i love it that you can just do everything your own, your own prices, your own colors, your own patterns that you want to receive and things that you don't want to receive. But it is a very good possibility that the stylist you choose gets a very good idea of you. So I have no idea what's in the box. It is still closed. I had it for a few days, so I really can't wait. I'm very excited to see what kind of outfits she put together. I gave her my honest feedback on the preview that I got. The preview that I got, I was very excited about. There were some things looking very, very nice. So I'm very excited. I'm going to see what's in here and uh, we will see. Let me show you how it looks when I unbox, when I just open it. It looks really pretty with the ribbons around the clothes. And you can see, I see a lot of things. So we have two outfits in the box. We have a bag and we have a pair of shoes. Let's already take a look at the pair of shoes. So here we have it. This item, this is the pair of shoes that the stylist also put in the box. It is a little uh, faux suede lingo sandal with a very low block heel, very easy to walk in, uh, size 37. They look like they should fit me, so I'm going to try them on with one of the outfits. I also have this adorable dress. This is from Forever New and oh wow, this is exactly the colors that I wanted. She really absolutely nailed it color-wise. 
that is some things you already did. It is going to be gorgeous. Let me show you what should we try on first. So I decided to go first with the blue dress. And it is a very beautiful dress, I have to say that. So really puffy sleeves and then I think this is like crochet. And it also comes with a slip dress. So it's one piece. But the slip dress is so, so short. It stops earlier than the um, dress itself. So this is actually too short for me. Color-wise, I absolutely love it. And this is from the brand Forever New. So the quality is just really, really, really defined. It's really good. And there's really not that much to say about it than that it is really beautiful, really voluminous, but also really bodycon on the body, which I really do prefer over more oversized. I really like it that there are also some sheer parts so here at the top, it is really sheer and here at the bottom. But then you can actually see how short the slip dress is. It comes up right here. So it is really, really short. But color-wise and silhouette-wise, she totally, totally nailed it. So here we are with the second look. And this one I am not loving. So unfortunately, I wasn't really quite curious about this one because this was in my preview again with this skirt the, the blue dress was not in the preview by the way i really do like the skirt it's from contrendio and it is high-waisted it actually really is a little bit big for me but it's okay it's really on trend this style of skirt so you know like a bodycon here at the top and then this ruffle here at the end as you can see, really on trend piece as well with the top, with the voluminous sleeves, the broderie on clay, and the lots and lots of ruffles also here at the back. It makes my shoulders way too big. This is not the kind of look I was hoping to get. Also, I don't think you should pair this skirt with a top like this. Well, you know what they say, if you wear something a little bit voluminous here on the bottom, then you have to go a little minimum here at the top. This is definitely not bad. <laughs> it is from the brand only, so it is very affordable. Um, but um, yeah, this is not something that I will ever wear. The skirt, I think, is an absolute winner. Like I said, from Trendio, I have other pieces in my wardrobe from them. And I'm quite okay with the quality they give for the price they cost. And just so we have done the first round, I'm going to put on the blazer with this outfit, just for fun. For me, definitely a coat, because it's quite long, like I said, from the tall collection. So sleeve-wise, it is, it's okay. I think this is okay to wear for a jacket. I love the silhouette, I love the color. Okay, try to do my best to make it as pretty as bow as I could. <laughs> It's not that I don't like it. In fact, I absolutely love it. This is such my style. But I could never wear this outside. You have to wear this to a special occasion. You have to wear this to maybe like to a wedding, for example. This could be a very nice thing to wear to a wedding because you look actually really, really chic with the button still here puffing up. And then with this beautiful, fabulous bow. Yes. You could seriously get away with it if you wear this to a wedding or to a party or something. But this is not an everyday coat slash blazer. So I thought actually that you could remove this one, but you can't. And they're totally on, they're here on the blazer. I really hope that this was like an option, that it was just some loops that you can just wear it absolutely beautiful really the quality is good and the fit is good even if it's from the tall collection but like i said you can't wear this every day and it's really making me sad with the second look she did not quite nail it because this one not my style this one definitely my style and this one is my style but i can't just wear it every day oh <laughs> I put my arm to the wrong hole and I was like, why is this one so loose and this one's so very tight? Well, if you put your arm to the wrong hole, that will do it. 
so much better so here i am with the next look now i don't hate the outfit but i don't love it i would love this if i was like a cool mom so maybe maybe in 10 years who knows because i really like the style of this top it's like broderie anglais it's like all pink i really think that's a lovely color yeah the trousers i really do like they're high-waisted they have deep pockets and you can make this ribbon into a nice fine bow i did not do the best job <laughs> the trousers look really creased but that's because they come out of the package and the top i really tucked in so it's a little bit bulky especially on the back like here but yeah like i said i could totally see me wearing this in like 10 years when I am a cool mom. I don't know what it is with this, but it really gives me those vibes, you know, like picking my children up from school and quickly go to the supermarket, something like that. I've never had that with really, outfits. I feel like more grown up when I wear this, which probably not be the most terrible thing in the world for me to grow up, but. So I'm going to be 28 in a month and it really, really scares me because I still feel like I'm 21 or something and and I guess everybody who knows me thinks that I'm still 21 because I look very young but does this outfit make me look older? Should I keep it maybe for that reason? So color wise the stylist absolutely nailed it again really I think she did because I actually told her to get me some light trousers because I really wanted to try them out because they're such on trend this summer um, and this one was not in my preview so she really took my feedback really serious which is really good to know it's really quite nice the top i think was in the preview i just hope it would fall smaller because this is actually a 36 or 38 maybe and i don't have that the trousers are very good length they fit really really perfectly here around the waist they fit perfectly here around my ankles the length is good so there is absolutely nothing wrong with these trousers so let's see what other tops she put in to pair it with so i thought it was going to be a black and white top but it's actually a two piece of these two cropped tops a black one and a white one so from the brand even an odd and this one was from s oliver and this one is tom taylor all the brands do really sound familiar so i'm going to change into the white one okay here i am with the next and also the last look and you guys will not believe it but she actually did put the ted baker back into the into the box so this was also in my preview because I told her I love Ted Baker, but it's not my price point. So I think I think these are the more affordable bags and they absolutely are amazing. So but this is just really easy, you know, just pop it on your shoulder and it's loads and loads of room, as you can see. So yeah, I have to think about this one. Let me check the price. So for the Ted Baker one, it is 40 euros and 45 cents. It must have been a little bit on sale because I think these are actually a little bit more expensive. Yes, usually they are 45 pounds. So that means they should be around 53 euros. So they must have been a little bit on sale. But I really think it is a very, very gorgeous bag. Outfit wise, I actually really like this so the trousers are really growing on me and with this cropped top i think this is such a nice summer look not that i can actually wear this to anything i cannot wear it to work i probably don't even would wear this to see my parents or something i think that would even be too much for them so that's better that's a more serious bow and i actually also put on the shoes hope you can see they actually fit really really well so I might keep these because I am always on the lookout for pink shoes and these are absolutely perfect for summer. So, and they really go well with the outfit and then of course the Ted Baker bag to bring back the pink from the shoes. 
So I have to say the stylist absolutely nailed this outfit. This is something that I would totally wear. I would totally wear this, feel comfortable in it. The only thing is, where do you wear this to? And I can just not buy pretty things and only look at them. I actually have to wear them. And the quality of these two tops is not perfect. It's a very affordable brand. So these two tops together were 18 euros. Um, and I am not going to try on the black one because I won't wear this black one anyway. But I wanted to see you actually the details and the lace from close up. So I absolutely think that Stylish really did a fabulous job. She did the colors that I love. She did actually also the style that I really like. And she really surprised me with some of the pieces. So like I said, some of the pieces were already in my preview, but other pieces I had no idea that she was going to send. So please let me know in the comments down below which outfit you think this style is absolutely nil. So maybe I will do a video like this in the future again. If you liked it, you can let me know in the comments down below. So this is the end of the video. I'll see you soon in my next one. Bye now!